All right. Hey, everybody. Um, today I'm going to go over a very, very important um, resource that I actually used when I was in Chemistry 1A, and it was actually passed on to me by one of my peers, and I figured it would be cool to pass on to everyone else now. Um, and keep in mind that this was actually something I used when I was in chemistry. And so even though I had a different professor than the head Gordons or someone else that you will likely have, um, it's still very useful for me. Uh, and I think it'll be useful for you because the Chem 1A curriculum stays relatively constant. So these, the, the link to this is going to be uh, in the description below. But if you keep going down, what you're going to see is this entire website has pretty much everything that a general chemistry course covers. Everything from basic chemical formulas all the way down to um, the basics of organic chemistry. Uh, if you go all the way down, you ha you'll hit organic chemistry. But um, for your case, you know, the parts that you're going to care about in general chem are going to be like things like equilibrium, acid-base chemistry, um, chemical equilibrium, rate mechanics, chemical kinetics, all of that jazz. And all of that's gone over here. And one number one thing you want to remember in Chem 1A is that there's never too many resources. So even though I don't actually know um, who exactly founded this resource, I think it's something that you should definitely make use of uh, to supplement your studying. So let me go ahead and show you what one of these things looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. It's called Describing Chemical Formulas. It's a lecture that you need. And what you're going to see is it's going to prop up this sort of video. If you press play, so bear with me for a couple minutes and we're going to define some very important... If you press play, you'll see that there's actually a little lecture here um, and then there's some key points here. There's um, atoms, molecules, and ions, think while it's chemistry. It goes over a lot of stuff and as you see, if you progress through the video, I don't even know if I can skip, but you can, yeah. And as you get, as you skip through um, the video, again with a you'll see that they actually make lecture notes here. It's super, super awesome, super dope. I love this. I think it was the biggest resource I used when I was in Chem 1A and you should definitely make use of it. With that being said, I'm going back to here now, which is the main menu. And if you open up any of these tabs, um, sometimes they even have demonstrations. So this one is a demonstration. It's going to be an actual lab experiment. Um, this will actually show you an experiment. And that's super cool, something that will make your learning a bit more fun. But all in all, I think the other last point I want to make here is um, Chem 1A kind of assumes you know pretty much the introduction. So Chem 1A will not spend any time, at least not significant time, going over the periodic table. You also won't spend too much time going over describing chemical formulas and naming them. Uh, unfortunately, that's just how it is because chemistry at Berkeley goes fast. It usually also doesn't spend much time going over stoichiometry, the mole, all that jazz. Probably is usually covered in about a lecture. Students find that really challenging, and so if you don't have any chemistry experience, I strongly recommend going over these first three topics and just getting your foundation built because trust me when school starts and lectures start rolling um, they're not going to spend much time on this and I'm, I'm a tutor at the SLC for Gen Chem and every year we get students who come in they're like wait I don't know how to balance reactions or wait I don't know how to name molecules or wait I don't know how to um, work out stoichiometry I don't know what a mole is um, and so if you want to make sure you avoid that and you get your foundation set definitely get this stuff down and then that way once you start hitting the ball rolling, you can just go straight into actually understanding the concepts. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Chem 1A at Berkeley goes fast, but I'm hoping this resource will make it easier for some of you to succeed. Um, all right, cool. Thanks.